Uh, hello, uh, Rob Ainsco here again. Uh, we'll go over a uh, real quick video um, relating to time compression and the blurries. Um, a lot of people, uh, specifically on AVSim, have been having issues with the uh, blurries in prepared 3D version 4.3 and or prior versions. Um, and uh, yeah, some users in, in particular have a have a problem with uh, the time compression and blurries um, so I thought I'd go ahead and do uh, a quick video here on using time compression and what uh, kind of graphic settings I use for my specific uh, setup here and uh, my setup here is a uh, this is a 8700K I'm mildly overclocked with the uh, NVIDIA 1080 Ti uh, GPU um, the only modification I've made to the prepare3d.cfg is I've added the texture size exp equals 9 option um, which should help with the low radius and making things look sharper um, with that said uh, as you can see here we're I think our 4x time compression is that let me check yeah 4x speed we'll slow it down to 2x um, and the train is still uh, looking fairly sharp and crisp we're flying towards uh, LA, well, San Diego, LA area, and we'll be going over some mountains. Uh, I wanted to make sure I included some mountains as well as a dense city um, in this test, um, just to show how how you can make um, prepared 3D work well um, by just some simple graphics adjustments and understanding how your CPU is working in relation to frames and uh, frame rate uh, unlimited and capped frames. Um, this uh, particular AVSIM user had an issue. Uh, he reported his monitor was operating at 60 hertz, um, but he also had it set to unlimited and no VSync. Um, I, I would definitely not recommend that. Uh, I don't, I'm not aware of any CPU that would work well with with that setting at six, uh, when the monitor runs at 60 hertz. Um, what happens is if you're running at 60 Hertz uh, and you set unlimited and you can't generate enough frames for for 60 Hertz 60 FPS um, actually with vsync off it's, it's going to be even worse because then your CPU is just going to do as much as it possibly can and it will it'll essentially get overloaded and it won't be able to load or the train system will have a problem loading the tiles um, so it's important that uh, if you're running 60 hertz, you either want to run your monitor, try and run it at 30 hertz, and if you can't run your monitor at 30 hertz, um, then set your uh, frame rate uh, cap to 30. Um, you can have the VSync on. I would always recommend VSync on, even though you're running below your refresh rate. Um, this will ensure the train system can keep up, um, so long as your your frame rate is. Uh, as long as your system is able to handle 30 FPS or whatever frame rate limit you set it at. Um, and uh, if, if uh, on, the, on the few people that can't actually run at 60 hertz um, with unlimited, uh, they probably have very, very low graphic settings in order to be able to sustain that kind of frame rate. Um, I personally prefer to have a little bit higher graphic settings and uh, a lower uh, frame rate. Um, so this is what I'm kind of showing here: is uh, I'm running on a uh, 1440p uh, monitor. Uh, it's not my usual 4K. It's a test system, so it's a 8700K CPU with the Titan 1080 Ti, uh, running at 1440p. Um, here we are in the VC. I'm just looking around the San Diego area, heading off to LA area. Um, you need to make sure everything's still clear and crisp, and it looks fairly good so far. Uh, we're running at normal speed right now. Um, let's go ahead and increase the speed up to 2x time compression. Alright, so we're at 2x now, and uh, uh, everything appears to be loading fairly sharp, no blurries. Um, again, this is all default prepared 3D scenery. This is not photoreal scenery. Um, but it wouldn't matter if you if you are running photoreal scenery, you still want to do the same principle. Um, don't run unlimited 
if you have a 60 hertz monitor uh, cap it to, to 30 or less um, and uh, here we are this is I believe San Diego area now and as you can see all the houses the street roads and everything is still fairly um, detailed and crisp and clear it's not blurry um, and we'll be uh, heading on up to the LA Basin area I'll speed it up even more to maybe 4x. Um, so, yes, um, y you can still have fairly high graphic settings even when you're using uh, 2x and 4x time compression. Um, we'll get to my graphic settings at the end of this video, but uh, I just wanted to show um, show that it is possible not to have the blurries. <laughs> Um, so long as you have your, your system configured correctly, um, it should be fairly easy to you know, not run into any blurry situations. Um, and uh, you know, again, it's really mostly about the frame rate uh, running at unlimited and a 60 hertz monitor. So if you can avoid that combination, um, then you should be fine. Um, let's go back to normal speed here. Everything is still looking fairly good. Um, yeah, everything's looking okay. So even you know, even though I've got it capped at 30 frames a second and I am running a 60 hertz monitor, it's still smooth. Um, at least I think it's smooth. And uh, as you can see, external scenery here. It's fairly dense and it's fairly clear and crisp. I believe I'm, I'm about 7,000 feet, maybe, something like that. Um, so, uh, you know, which it should be low enough to make sure that uh, everything loads, uh, all, the tr all the auto gen loads and uh, the high resolution textures load. And we'll go ahead and speed it up here again. Um, everything is still uh, nice and crisp and clear. Um, again, uh, this is no add-ons. This is all default scenery here. Um, default prepared 3D. Um, and this is the default uh, C130 that comes with the uh, prepared 3D 4.3, um, which was, I believe, added to the 4.3 release. Um, 4.2 and prior did not have this aircraft. Um, I think the cloud, I think the weather I picked was just the fair weather or something like that. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, increase to 4x now. And, uh, yep, I believe that's LAX off to the right hand corner over there. And as you can see, the terrain below is still pretty clear when we're in a dense city. Um, and that 4x time compression and everything's looking pretty good um, I don't see any obvious blurries uh, a couple areas it takes a while for it to load but it's not hugely noticeable alright so we're over the water here let's um, go back to normal speed and let's take a look at the graphic settings see here. Okay, yep, there's LAX. Off of the distance. Um, that's the default LAX, that's not a third-party LAX. Um, but as you can see, it's quite a bit of terrain. Alright, so let's go over the graphic settings. Um, here they are. I got uh, um, Traffic is set up to a minimal. Uh, my display settings, uh, 4x MSA, um, and I've got its frame rate limit there is 30. That's the important one, and VSync is on. Now, world, as you can see, I got you know fairly high settings here. Not super high, but fairly high. Um, and then we've got lighting. I've got. To, cloud and uh, terrain shadows on and they're set to the maximum distance um, weather is 90 miles maximum 
And there you go. Alright, so uh, let's go ahead and exit prepared 3D and take a look at the prepared 3D.cfg setting um, for the texture size EXP. Um, that setting is located in the terrain section, um, but uh, we can do a quick search for that. Uh, let me see. And uh, the value, I mean, the what we're looking for is texture underscore size underscore exp. And let's do find that. I'm going to ignore this. And there it is, texture size exp. And there's my value of 9. That can be values of uh, 9 or 10. Um, it's in the, uh, let me see, it's in the terrain section. And there you go.